pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ms. Marty, would you honor us in the prayer? Lord, inspire us today with the qualities of good leadership. Give insight to make wise decisions. Integrity to face the truth, courage to make difficult choices, and compassion for the needs of others. Make us a model of justice and honor to the world, and let us not forget that our job is to serve both you and others. Amen. 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 Okay, first item of the agenda is the approval of the consent agenda. Does any commissioner want to pull any of those items out for separate discussion? Anything? No, there is no concern. Stay Motion approval. approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. And when opposed, motion carries. Next item. Uh, Judge commissioners, with your permission, for JP Precinct 2, Place 2, it's a public purpose request with, with respect to uh, purchase promotional items. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item 6A, 1 and 2. Um, I, I have no um, discussion today. Item 6B and C are, uh, are, if you could give me one second, Judge Commissioners. Sure. Well, you know what? Why don't we move to Man. open session? Open and, session, and order. we have one registered uh, person, Fern. Oh my! I'm not used to this. I wasn't ready. Okay, this is nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, I guess the only thing that I I, I talked to Baldy a little bit about it. Uh, we're getting phone calls and text that elected officials, not with the county, but with other, whether it be school or city or whatever, could be doing, um, I don't know if they're taking off, clocking out, but doing some workshops for their elected positions. And, uh, you know, unless you're doing something at home in the, the confines of your own home, people are watching whether they work it with the county or are visiting or whatever, but they know, or maybe they're at the other end. And uh, we would like to know, are they doing count, uh, their elected positions on county time? Because the taxpayers, we don't have enough money to take care of this. We're paying on both ends at whatever end that they're doing the, the workshops and stuff with. So would y'all please check on that? We'd appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And judge, for the record, um, as we were waiting, um, I did ask Monica to pull the uh, the open form sheet, and so I apologize. I did miss an individual that was out there, and so that's for that that late one right there, judge. Okay, and I'm going to try to read your. <laughs> oh, your I, I can I can Norma. read Norma Herrera. Herrera. Is it Herrera? Yes. And Ms. Herrera, just for the uh, for the record, as uh, Ms. Fern knows, uh, there's a three minute time limit, and I'll advise when there's one minute. Absolutely. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I'm sorry, I just missed the form out there. I thought I was waiting for it to be available. Uh, thank you so much. My name is Norma Herrera. I work with Lupe, La Unión del Pueblo Entero. I'm here to talk about uh, the Family Unity Family Health Report that was presented a couple weeks ago to just uh, be really clear about what the connection is to the county and why that's important and why it should be important to the county. So the report demonstrates that when families live in fear of detention and deportation, their health suffers. Children exhibit symptoms of PTSD at a higher rate than the national average and perform worse in school. Parents fear driving and having a minor traffic violation lead to their separation from their children. So when local cops, sheriffs, and constables collaborate with Border Patrol and ICE, families live in fear of interacting with them. When our county jail holds our people and turns them over to ICE indiscriminately, we use our tax-funded public resources to do the work of federal immigration officials. We contribute to the fear, and therein lies the connection. Therein lies our public responsibility to be transparent about our role collaborating with federal immigration officials. To that end, we ask for your help in obtaining public records of requests from ICE to detain our immigrant neighbors in our county jail. 
Only then can we understand the extent of the collaboration. Equipped with that knowledge, we can have conversations, honest conversations, about the kind of community we want to be and the kinds of policies we can create to build that community together. So in the coming weeks, we would appreciate the opportunity to meet with you to discuss this matter in person. We know the information we seek is a matter of public, rec public record, I'm sorry, but we invite you to champion this effort and throw your support behind the fight to preserve family unity and family health. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Well, that ends our open session. We're back to our yes. regular agenda items. Thank you so very much, Judge Commissioners. Uh, item uh, 6A, 1 and 2, again, there's no action. Item 6B, C and D, related request and action. Uh, item 6B is a settlement check from Fred Lowy Insurance in the amount of $2,730.88, and this will settle a property damage claim to, uh, to our county property. And item C uh, is also a settlement check uh, acceptance from Prime Line Utility Service in the amount of $795.32. Again, this will settle an auto accident claim with one of our uh, county assets, a vehicle. And the last one, D, is also a settlement check request to accept from HDI Global Insurance Company in the amount of $2,500, and this will settle an auto accident claim with a county vehicle. I move for approval on 6B, C, and D. Second. Those in favor of the motion, say aye. Aye. And with opposed, motion carries. Thank you. So item 6E is a rebate check from uh, Home Depot, and it's a in the amount of $1,051.69 for purchases made from 1118 through 1231.18. Move for approval. Second. Opposed in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Judge Commissioners, if I may, for uh, human resources, item 7A, requesting waiver of the budget amendment policy and personal related amendments, if applicable, for personal items listed. That's the first action item. So moved. Second. Opposed in no, favor no. say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item 6B is, for, is uh, under, it's for Precinct 2 Parks. Uh, I will note this is a vacancy, and it is a title change from a maintenance 3 to a clerk 4, and it would be at a grade 7. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Again, Judge Commissioners, um, if I may, for item 8, A, B, and C, for Department of Budget and Management, uh, item 8A is the Texas Vine Grant. This is Fund 1283. Uh, it's uh, approval to submit the fiscal year 19 Texas Vine Grant Reimbursement Maintenance Invoice in the amount of $7,139.69. This is for the second quarter. Uh, and the Texas Statewide Automated, Automated Victim Notice Service uh, County Verification Continuation Prediction Record with the authority for the county judge to sign the required documents. Motion approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item B, under the flood control water extraction, this is a fund 1100. It's undesignating them in the amount of $459,775.59 for, uh, for year 2019 for the expenditure related to, uh, I'm sorry, related to the flood control water extraction in 2018 and approval of the 2019 appropriation of funds in the amount of $459,775.59 $75.59 to fund these expenditures. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Item C is the revision of salary schedules uh, in accordance. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually, Judge Commissioners, item C is going to be a no action today. Item 8C is a no action. Okay. Item 9, Purchasing Department. Martha Salazar, um, A, approval to rescind action previously taken by Commissioner's Court on 1-9-2019. This is for Precinct 2. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Anyone <clears throat> opposed? Motion I carries. Item 2 would be acceptance and approval to execute the AIA form A-133-2009, guaranteed maximum price amendment 1 between the county and Erickson Construction, the contractor for Precinct 2 Las Milpas Park Youth Park project in the amount of 73,459.42 with, sorry, I'm going to the next page. So moved. I think it's authority to, to execute the documents. Again. And did we get a certificate of? Uh, no, this is uh, to issue the notice to proceed also. I'm sorry? This is to issue the notice to proceed as well. Okay. But the auditors said that there was a missing form. Everything has been uploaded. Everything's been. Yes. Okay. Yes, Judge. 
We have a motion to approve and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 One opposed. Motion carries. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Judge Commissioners, before we go to closed session, and there are closed session items uh, to discuss, uh, we do have a group of uh, young men and women in the audience. Uh, I suspect they're here to, to view county government in action or? Okay, great. I just wanted to. Sure. Yes, ma'am. Hi, good afternoon. Julia Sullivan, Public Affairs. Um, these students, if you'll join me up here, please, I want to introduce you all. These students are from uh, James Madison University, and they're spending spring break doing community service ah. projects down here with Lupa instead of going to the beach. Awesome. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I just thought that maybe we could recognize them and take a, a group photo. Absolutely, and, uh, and welcome. And thank you for what you're doing. Well, I want you to know this is not typical weather down here. I mean, this is a, super cold for us. I mean, this is the worst as it gets for us. But anyway, thank you for coming and thank you for your service. We're going to go into closed session. Uh, pursuant to Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code, Section 551.071 and 551.072, to discuss various items. May I have a motion to do so? So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. We're going to go into closed session. Are there any action items to be taken? Yes, sir. I do have one under open session, and that would be item... Under open session, item 13A, real estate acquisition appropriation for same. There's no action to be taken today. 13B, pending and or potential litigation under open session, no action to be taken. Item 13C, claim of Pierre Luis Garza, Judge Commissioner. So I'd like settlement authority to make an offer in the amount of $1,504.21. Move for approval. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. And item 13D. Item 13D, C2728-17-J, Dora Alicia Garza individually, Dora Alicia Garza et al. versus Hidalgo County Sheriff's Office. Uh, there is no action to be taken, but we will proceed as directed. Thank you. 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 Uh, it's 9.30, Greenwich District, and 10 a.m., Commissioner's Court. Okay. That concludes our agenda item. Uh, meeting is adjourned. Awesome.